Hello, let's have a look at the magnetic tool for freehand selection and uh, to find that we go over here where we've got the, uh, you often see the rectangular marquee tool as a default but it'll be whatever you use last. So I right click on that and the bottom get to freehand selection tool. Then up here I've got three types I can select, freehand, polygonal or magnetic. So we can select the magnetic, make sure it's on add. If there's nothing added it'll just start fresh. And let's try and select the sky up here. So I'll just control zoom to roll into this. Let's roll that up a bit. There we go. Then I'll start up here. I click a start. I can start outside like this. And then as I move down here, I'm not clicking at all. My fingers are not touching the mouse buttons. It is automatically adding in. And this is what the magnetic tool does. It simply adds things in. If I drift off the line a bit, you know, it looks for somewhere it'll eventually start putting in lines, but it gives it there's a bit of leeway. I can always go backwards with the backspace key, which I'm do what I'm doing here. So if it goes out, just hit backspace. You gotta watch out for things like here. I haven't quite got down into that corner, so let's backspace again. Because I can click here, I can force a one here. If you can click at any time and force a point. And then this kind of edge here, look at this, it's pretty much doing it. I'm not quite happy with that. Let's go around that a bit more, thank you very much. And it's pretty quick to do, you can always fix it later. And for a rough edge like this, I'd go to refine afterwards, which I'll show in another video. So here, and then we've got this tricky bit in and out up this one here. And say so we'll we'll just worry about this later. See if it can what it does here. Oops, I haven't quite got that one there. I want to get up to here. I've got a little bit of a puzzle because what I'd like to do up here is to go outside and do a line so it comes right to the edge. But if I click here, nothing's happening when I click. So and if I go down here, and if I try and click at the edge, I very easily miss a bit. And if I try to go across here, it's not finding the edge of the picture. So let's go to the end there, say for example. What we could do now is to fill in to the edge. And there's another trick that the magnetic thing has a, a, a up its sleeve, which is if I hold down the shift key, it turns into a polygonal one, this one over here. So holding down shift, I can click here, click diagonally down in through the corner point, click across here, diagonally up through that point there, and I can just double click somewhere. And there you go, it's forced it right up to the edge so I know everything is selected. Now I can zoom into bits here, see if I can fix a few things that aren't quite right. And so I want to get rid of this here, so I hold down the Alt key, and uh, click here and see if that will find the edge. Uh, it's not doing very well, is it? So a way to do this is still holding in the Alt key is click and hold. So I've got this held down now. And what it's doing is it's acting like a free hand. So it's not putting points down, but it is drawing. So it goes all the way around. And the, the polygonal tool does this as well. If you Press the mouse left button and hold. You can just do a freehand draw so that you can. Oops. I think I let go of the old key there. There. And you can see, so I can just draw and this to add it in. Don't click the ends and so on. Just go on down fixing those. So in other words, in the magnetic tool, you can hold, click the first point and there's drag without any more clicking. You can click at any point to put in a uh, force a point in, hold down the shift key, and then it turns into the polygonal tool. And you can hold down the mouse button and it becomes freehand. So you've got three tools in one. 
Isn't that nice? So there we go, there's our area selected. Well, that's it for now. Thanks for watching.